5K 60 frames per second raw footage from the Canon R5. How come I haven't heard of this yet? Okay, I recently rented a Atomus Ninja 5 Plus just to check out its 8K raw capacity from the Canon R5 and discovered something that blew me away. No one has, I haven't heard anyone talking about it. <laughs> I just felt like I had to share it out there because I just think it's so cool, I just wanna share it. Now, when I was doing the 8K raw footage, it looked beautiful, it looked great up here. But one thing I was kind of wishing, I was like, man, the 8K raw is great, but it's so big. I wish I could just sometimes get a 4K raw footage from the R5. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't it be nice? And lo and behold, there actually is a version of that that exists that I have not heard really mentioned anywhere that I wanted to share with you if you are a Canon R5 user. And it's pretty simple and it's not perfect, but it's still pretty cool because this thing will let you export 5K up to 60 frames a second raw output to the Atomus Ninja 5 Plus. Let me show you how to do it just so you can decide if this is something that might work for you and be cool in the future. Now, if you look here, I can come here to the menu and if I come to the very last screen in the video settings, I go to raw output on and you set standby red low res to on just to give your camera a little more record time, okay? And if you look here, my camera defaults to an 8K raw out. Now, if I come here to the menu and click back, you will see that my recording options are limited here to 8K raw, up to 30 frames a second. So I can do, usually I would do something like 24. I can do that. If I set that to 24 frames a second, you can sit here and look, and now you can see that the camera is set to 8K 24 frames a second in ProRes RAW, which is very, very cool. But here's how you get 5K. It's kind of tricky, a little bit of a hack, but I just thought you should know. If I come back to the menu now and have a pull up, if I go to movie cropping and enable that, look at that. It changes to something called 4K RAW, huh? If I click on that, you'll actually see a 5,088 by 2680 resolution, which is a 5K resolution. And check this out, up to 60 frames, 5K raw. So if I hit that and hit okay, look at this. 5K, 60 frames, ProRes raw on the Atomus Ninja 5. This is really, really great as far as saving space, but still giving you that raw flexibility. So for example, a one minute raw piece of footage on this is 18.09 gigabytes. However, if I shoot a 5K of that same, same scene, one minute long, it comes to 11.62. That's almost 40% smaller, and you still get all that flexibility of raw. And yes, you can shoot 5K unlimited. And as you can see here, I am shooting 5K at 60 frames per second. And as you can see, I recorded for three hours at 5K, 60 frames a second. My batteries ran off faster, but I got it with no overheating. So as you can see, that is a really, really cool thing. I personally wish that it didn't crop it, but I guess that's cool. And man, now knowing that the Canon R5 can do this, man, I would love to have an internal 4K RAW or 5K RAW, even if it is cropped option internally on the Canon R5. It's just not there. But I just wanted to make a short video pointing this out. If you are a Canon R5 user and considering the Ninja 5 Plus, that this is a whole nother set that I haven't really heard anybody talking about, which I think is really cool to get 5K, 60 frames a second, raw recording up to an SSD drive, even if it is cropped, it is something that's really cool that I think you all should know about, that I'm excited about, and hopefully get some of you excited out there too. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about this. I'd love to hear from you. Leave me any comments down below. Yeah guys, go out there, keep on shooting. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon.